This is a very niche video or niche video, but we're going to be talking about whether you need to get Vibe internet and we're going to be looking at everybody here. How fast is Vibe and do you need it? First of all, Vibe internet is 100 megabits per second down generally. So that's not megabytes, that's megabits. So to convert that into bytes, again megabytes, megabits, very different. I'm not going to tell you exactly what the conversion is because I don't know, but I do know that 1000 megabits down so download speeds of 1000 megabits are about 115 megabytes download. So think about like your average movie will take 10 to 30 seconds to download given the fact it's between one to three gigs, maybe a little bit more. You know, your, your HD quality movie or your 4K movie is probably gonna download in a minute or two at max. So that's really good, that's very fast. So a lot of people are asking, do I need gigabit internet? And I was looking at getting this here in Canada and I noticed there's only like three or four videos that are actually talking about it, which is strange. The Google Five with all the new services. So I don't think many people have hopped onto it lately. And I never really considered myself like somebody who needed like a really powerful computer or somebody who really needed uh, you know, a powerful internet. Never crossed my mind, but I realized when I came back to a rural area, because my computer was a little bit slower, when the internet was slower too, couldn't work. Couldn't work at all. Couldn't do any of my online teaching. Couldn't do anything. We were three megabits down, which is like extremely slow. The world average is like 11 or 12. Whole world. So that, that factors in even the lesser economically developed nations. And we're like three. So it's just very slow. It worked. I was fine with it. But I couldn't do... My business is all online. So it was really hard. So I called Bell gigabit internet installed and I've been using it. I've used it today. Today's the first day we've had it. I'm very happy with it. Now I can answer the question immediately whether it's fast enough or whether it's too fast. Is gigabit internet overkill? It is always overkill unless you are a content creator who creates a shitload of content. I'm talking about a lot of content. So basically I create 10, 20, 30 videos a day, anywhere from 10 to 30 videos a day on a work day, not every day of my life, but on a work day. If I really hustle and I, you know, I'm drinking coffee and I wake up early and I say today I'm going to get a ton of work done, I'm making 10 to 30 videos a day, which means I'm uploading those videos. As I'm uploading them, I'm tagging them, I'm titling them. 30 videos that range between 500 to 800 megabits and I'm uploading them. I'm not just downloading them, so I need those upload speeds. So I'm uploading one, but if you're up bulk uploading 10 to 20 at the same time, even with gigabit internet, you're gonna be sitting there for like 10, 15 minutes. Like you're gonna be sitting there for a while because your computer has to process all those uploads. And you know, if you're not connected to the ethernet cable and you don't happen to be experiencing like peak 1000 megabits per second download, you're not gonna be super, super fast. So think about it, I might kill 10 to 15 minutes that one day. Okay, I'm not like first world problem, right? But like, if we really think about how much content we have to get out on the internet in order to actually be noticed, let alone actually be successful and create a whole business from it, it's a crap load. I mean, you can go out there and you can make the best videos in the world and go viral. Yeah, you have raw talent, you know how to appeal to people, you're probably fantastic at SEO, great. I'm not like that. I keep trying to be like that, I try to be like that, but now I'm trying to be like myself. I'm gonna create a lot of content, a lot of value and share quantity, I'm gonna outwork everybody. For that to be done, I need very fast internet. And even with gigabit internet, it takes me five, 10, 15 minutes a day. It will at this rate, from what I've calculated today, to actually upload all those videos. So if you take like 10 and you multiply it by seven, that's one hour and 10 minutes. So if I worked every day this week, I would waste one hour and 10 minutes uploading, even with gigabit internet. And I have 940 megabits um, upload, so it's very close to my download speed. So downloading wise, I think gigabit, gigabit internet is always going to be fine. Um, but for sure, uploading it really depends. And if you're downloading, like you're 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 downloading a whole hard drive, or you're downloading tons of things from the cloud, it's also going to take a long time. So I think it'll benefit you if you have an online business. Definitely give it a shot. And um, you know, if you're a content creator or you're going to be using a lot of downloads, definitely get gigabit internet. It will benefit you. It is not overkill unless you don't create content and you're not using the internet the same way that I am. That's my advice.